everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of NCDOT Now. I'm Lauren Havland. While Earth Day may be in our rear view mirror, the North Carolina Department of Transportation continues to evaluate ways to protect our environment, including with this new electric vehicle. In another effort right now, NCDOT is teaming up with the town of Cary to introduce this autonomous electric vehicle to citizens as part of the Connected Autonomous Shuttle Supporting Innovation Program, or CASI. People can catch a ride at Bond Park while the department explores how these types of vehicles may be used in the future. The department also supports programs such as annual wildflower plantings and the spring and fall litter sweeps. Also, for the first time ever, the department is leading a project along the coast called the Living Shoreline. We may have great ideas and big goals, but we always try to get you know small milestones that we can look at and how do we start small and continue to get towards our goal, that big goal that we all want to achieve uh, to help our environment. Natural materials are used to protect our highway infrastructure from future storms while also creating a habitat for oysters and improve water quality. A bridge in Surrey County now bears the name Trooper Samuel N. Bullard Bridge. The structure carries traffic on CC Camp Road over Big Elkin Creek in Elkin. Trooper Bullard joined the State Highway Patrol in 2015 and was killed in the line of duty on May 21, 2018. Finally, hundreds of NCDOT employees from the mountains to the coast participated in the Equipment Operator Safety Training Conferences last week. These events give employees an opportunity to showcase and improve their skills and safety measures while operating heavy equipment on jobs they do daily. The friendly competition also fosters team spirit within individual units in the division and recognizes employees who excel at operating heavy machinery. Winners from each division will go on to compete in a statewide competition later this year. That's all for this week's edition of NCDOT Now. Until next time, safe travels.